are available for Neil because they won the left side of the table being left-handed. I think he'll be okay with 20. that. Yeah, and he won about four frames, didn't he, against Mark Selby, where Mark Selby had a 49 or 50, 60 break, and Neil came back and stole those four frames and made such a big difference, of course, when you can do that against your opponent. What's harder for your opponent to take? A frame you should have won and your opponent comes back and just nicks it with a 50 or 60 break. 28. 29. <coughs> As I mentioned, this one wasn't too badly placed for Neil, being a left-hander. 36. Thirty-seven. Any more pace, it wouldn't have gone in. It just touched the jaw just before the pocket, and just the pace took it in. He's looking at that red that I said was tied up, but maybe it does drop in to the middle pocket. That'll be for a, a couple of shots time, you would feel. 39. Well, this could be an interesting shot 44. here. He's got a nice angle on this red. OK, yeah. he's going to have to use the extension and the extended rest. But he's got a lovely angle on this red. If you can try and pot this red with a bit of top spin, he'd be running into the other red and he might be Knocking that towards the corner pocket as well. But doesn't have to play that shot, but it's certainly on. I think that was he's thinking about okay, in your shot as long as the white comes away from the cushion, you'll be okay. And decided against it in the end, and that's why, because he was frightened if he cannoned the red, that he mm. leaves the white tight on the cushion. That's the only reason he refused the cannon there. Yeah, that's the only problem with that shot. Right? a wonderful shot. <laughs> Had to hit that full ball. If he hits that only quarter ball, he's only knocking it up the cushion. That was perfectly played. He's looked at that red a few times, the one near the middle pocket. He'd have to get somewhere near that white that I put up to drop that in. Well, the way he's played this, 53. he feels that he can get on that red. He's got to make sure he misses the green, though. That's the problem. But he's got to get very close to that red if he feels he can just pot it. He's back looking at it again. He'd have to drop right in behind it. Doesn't want too much spin on this. Well, he can only just 58. drop it in. He can't get the right side of the blue. You've got to sacrifice the position here to make sure you drop. You see, if he drops it in, he'll be the wrong side of the blue. But that's all he can do is just drop it in. Yeah, he wanted to be closer to the cushion with the cue ball, so he'd have an angle. Pot in the red, going out with the, to the middle of the table with the cue ball. Whereas this way. A good shot on the red, but now... 59. Now is where the difficulty starts. Because he's got a 
Cutis blue. He's got to go around the angles in between pink and black, you would have to say. He could drop it in. But he'd be leaving himself a much more acute angle on the yellow. Well, John Parrott in the studio might take this on and force <laughs> it in. He's so good off the cushion, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what that was about. He just asked the uh, referee, Amber asked just to. He has tried it and he's going to catch the. Oh, he's flicked the black. So it's still difficult, but it was a good effort. Oh, 64. Got much better out of that cue ball. That was tremendous cueing. He's going to require another good shot in this shallow. Oh. That is absolutely brilliant. That is one of the best shots of the final because he's close to the cushion. To get that action on it there, doesn't get any better than that. What a break this is. 69. Now this is exactly what he did against Liang Wenbo. He's 22 points in front. He still needs the brown. There's still 22 left on the table. Oh, brilliant. He did this against Mark Selby in the last round. And Selby made four breaks over 50 and lost each one. And that's exactly what he's done here. This has been a tremendous break, Dennis. This is top drawer stuff. Yeah, even the blue. I mean, the frame's over, but he's queuing like a dream again. Well. He won't be too bothered about uh, missing the pick. Liang Wenbo says that's enough. He's going out. But what a fantastic break from Neil Robertson there. And he bridges the gap once more to two frames. He leads now six frames to four.